Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Coco Femme here. I wanted to bring to you some marvelous beauty supply store finds that I found. So I want to introduce to you JCAT, actually that's OCC. I want to introduce to you JCAT Beauty. These can be found at your local beauty supply stores. They may range in prices. I think I picked mine up for $2.95. I want to say $2.95 or something like that, $2.99. It wasn't no more than $3 um, on my end of the earth. But JCAT Beauty was founded in 2012 and they have this fabulous model, something to the fact of makeup at affordable prices for the makeup lover in mind or something like that. Anywho, um, I know what you're going to say. It resembles OCC lip tars and it does. Packaging is about the same. Um, you actually get the same amount of product. The OCC Lip Tars, you get 0.33 fluid ounces, which is 10 ml. And you also get the same in the JCAT brand. All right. Now, as far as the comparison between the two, you're going to get what you pay for, okay? OCC, we know, is a bit more pricier, but the color payoff and the finish is way different from the JCAT. Um, I think the website on JCAT said that these were matte, but they actually are not matte. They are glossy. Um, they go on better as, let me back it up. As far as you know, the storage of the OCC lip tars, you really have to, if you let them sit too long, they're gonna settle and they're gonna separate. So you kind of have to mix or squish up the packaging or whatever and make sure you're rotating it, um, so forth and so on. I had them stored, the JCAT stored kind of differently at first. So at first swatch of these that I did last night, um, it just felt like I was putting Vaseline on my lips. It had separated, the oils had separated a lot and it just was not, you know, what I thought. But tonight I had them sitting kind of like laying down in this position um, and I applied them with a lip brush and a little bit goes a long way and color payoff was there. So kind of weird because I swear to y'all, last night it wasn't hitting on nothing, especially the light colors. But um, tonight, as you can see with the, the pictures that I'm going to show you, I'm not actually going to do pictures um, to make this video much, much shorter. Usually I do live swatches and, and all that good, all that jazz, but I um, wasn't able to do that this time because of timing scheduling on my end. So sorry for that. But I do want to show you some swatches. Seems like a lot of these are um, Alice in Wonderland type um, titles for them. All of them, as you're going to see. So, um, yeah, let's start with the first one, shall we? <laughs> the first one is called um, Nimsy. Mimsy, actually. And it's a, a light nude beige. I'm not sure how this is coming off with the lighting, but... Oh, got to go back here. So this one is Mimsy, and I have a picture for you guys of how it looks on me. Um, majority of these I had on, um, at least the first few that I'm going to show you, I had on Bittersweet, which is a MAC Pro Long um, lip pencil. The second one I'm going to show you guys is um, called Orange Delight, and it's a... It's also in the new family, but it does have a nice burnt orange in there, and I'm going to swatch that out for you. And that is Orange Delight there. And in my picture, I actually paired it with, um, again, Bittersweet. The next one I'm going to show you is this bright coral called Much Mucher. Hope I have that right. But anywho, when I, when I first watched this one last night, it was not giving me thick at all. It, it was not. It was just more like Vaseline. I was like, ooh, I'm not impressed. Um, I'm not moved, but after playing with it tonight, it's a nice bright coral color. Puts me in the mind of Max Sushi Kiss, so this will probably be a nice topping for Sushi Kiss. All right, so I wanted to swatch each one of those that I just showed you um, side by side. So I'll do the first one, and I'll do the second one, and then I'll do the last one. Just so you can kind of get an idea that they are all different. So this one on the bottom here, that's Mimsy. This next one is Orange Delight. And the last one is Much Mucher. So that's those colors. Ooh, my knuckles are ashy. But I'm trying on stuff, so <laughs> forgive me for that. 
All right, we're gonna move on to some of the more um, darker colors that I picked up. This next color is a mauvey pink. And this color is called Blabberwocket. You can my baby Jabberwocket. I used to love that on um, Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, revisit it. So I'm gonna swatch a little bit of that for you. Actually, I got a whole bunch. And that is Babawake. The next one is the color that I'm actually rocking. And this one is called Always Late Rabbit. Okay. So I'm going to swatch that one for you on my hand as well. So you'll know what that one looks like. And there they have it right there. This next one is a nice lilac purple. This one is called Chest Desire Cat. And I am a sucker for purples, but brown girls, you cannot wear this color without a liner, okay? These types of colors, um, they look nice on us. They're very pigmented. They show up, but you need something to line your lips. Don't walk around here looking like Tyrone Biggums. That's not cute. Mm -mm. All right, so I'm going to swatch this one. Nice lilac pink. Look how bright that is. Very, very pretty. All right, so these are the colors again, side by side. This is Blabberwocky, Chest Desire Cat, Always Late Rabbit. So this next color is a bright, bright pigmented red, orange red. Um, and this one is called Caterpillar Smoke. Now I do want to say this, there is another color that I didn't pick up. And it's also called Caterpillar Smoke, so I don't know if that was a typo with them. However, they do have different numbers. One is like a 101, the other one's like a 102, but it's kind of odd that a company would name um, a product the same, the very same thing and just change the numbers around. That seemed kind of dumb to me. But um, so if you see that, there are two Caterpillar, Caterpillar Smokes in the, um, in the collection. So I'm going to swatch this one. This one is called... Caterpillar Smoke. So this next one is called Mad Splatter. And this puts me in the mindset of Max Girl About Town lipstick. So I'm gonna swatch that one real quick. And it has a, like a bluish, pinkish, purplish undertone to it. Very, very pretty. This next one is a nice tealy, not sky blue, but it's more teal blue. And this one is called Wonderland. I got this one because, not that I ever wear it anywhere, but um, it's cool to have colors like this, whether or not you want to mix them and stuff like that. So I'm going to, and I wanted to see what the color payoff was going to be. And for me, you know, you have to work with it. I can't say that I lined this with the best liner. I should, probably should have used like a darker blue to kind of give it an ombre effect, but I just had, um, I just used what I could locate at that moment. So this one is Wonderland and it's coming off kind of sky blue, but um, nice blue, very intense and you can build it up. Last but not least is, what is this one? Red Potion. And it's a deep, 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 looks like blood red in the tube. There was another one that's a lot darker than this, but um, I can't say it, it looks similar in the tube and it kind of looks very similar when I swatched them side by side So I didn't pick up the other one. I chose to go with this one. The other one is like a black and red So, um, that one would probably come off a lot darker All right, so this one is red potion Very intense there as well So yeah, for $2.95 or $3 or however much I paid for them um, I know it was less than $4, you know, after tax and everything like that. Was it $3.95, $2.95? I want to say I paid $2.95 for each one of these. I'm quite sure of it. But anywho, I just wanted to bring to you those ones that I purchased. Um, so yeah, they have, I think, 18 of them in the collection. Um, the display looks a little something like this. Okay, so in terms of packaging, as you saw, it was the same packaging as the OCC Liptars. 
Um, the color payoff is not as intense as the OCC Lip Tars. The finish is not as matte as the OCC Lip Tars. Um, however, if you want nice washes of color to maybe um, add to your favorite lipstick, if you have a matte lipstick that matches one of those colors that you just want to um, put it on top of, I think that would be nice. But um, they are not matte at all. Um, I've actually had this one on for the past couple hours of trying to edit and get this video together and it's still moist, still glossy sort of kind of. So um, yeah, it doesn't have any matteness to it. I'm sure you can always make it matte by putting a translucent powder over it, but who has time for that? I know I don't these days. So um, yeah, just another alternative if you don't want to spend the money for the OCC Lip Tars, you can always head to your local beauty supply store and try the J Cat brand. So thank you so much for watching. Um, if you missed any part of this video, I'm going to make sure that I upload um, upload this as well, pictures included to my blog, makeupmylocks.blogspot.com. So thank you so much for watching. If you haven't been on IG, shame on you. You would have known that I was already going to post this video. Mm-hmm. Side eye. Anywho, thank you for watching YouTube. Bye.